Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Story of Seasons, a trio of towns. Oh, we got mail. Uh, last time we did the Goddess Festival, ate pizza and danced with Lissette. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Oh, new new items available at Straw Market. I can't remember what that... Oh, that's Miranda's shop, okay. Uh, thanks, you completed 100 part-time job requests. Well done, we'll be looking forward to... Yay, good for us. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what today has in store for us. Uh, first things first, let's grab our fertilizer. Fertilize the wheat. Fertilize the grapes. I like how I lost a heart immediately after using one bit of fertilizer. That's that's fun. Uh, today is also a day where we're going to send the animals out and uh, do some mining. Hopefully, we get some some more iron so we can upgrade our hammer, which is going to be pretty fun. Um, I actually, I also think that we're close. We also think. <laughs> wow, I just sounded like really farmerish then. Go me. Um, I think that we're getting close to another festival, aren't we? Yeah, on the thirtieth, we've got. The Harvest Festival. Hooray. Alright, that's, that's going to be fun. I, I'm not sure if it is going to be fun or not. I'm, I'm just sort of guessing. <laughs> based on um, based on how the Goddess Festival was. Seems like it's going to be another sort of like whole day thing. Uh, but that's like two episodes away. We don't have to worry about that now. We've got to worry about taking care of our crops. Taking care of our animals. It's going to be a grazing day for our animals. They're going to have fun. Um, and then go and see what part-time jobs we can do to get a bit more cash monies. I've got back up to 24,000 gold, which is pretty damn good, pretty damn good indeed. Um, especially considering that we started off with a, a 50,000 bonus for picking Tycoon. I, didn't re <laughs> I still can't believe it took me so many episodes to realize that I had 50,000, not 5,000. I'm just like, uh, I'm a big dumb, I'm a big dumb, okay? Alright, let's get these last bellflowers watered. And then take care of our animals. I'm wondering now if Clucker, because he's been eating the chicken food for a while, um, if he's now got better coat. I didn't even know if chickens have a coat, but... <laughs> Check the notebook. No, still doesn't. Stress is quite low, though, so that's good. All right, Clucker, how's it going, pal? Uh, let me just quickly get my pitchfork. Clean up your poop. Grab you a soft treat, because you deserve one. You deserve one. And let's take you outside. I still don't know if giving them a treat every day is a good thing or not, but... Hey-ho! We're all learning together. Well, we're not learning together. You guys know way more about this game than I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, we, we can clip um, Ali again. There you go. Enjoy your noms. Let's grab our pitchfork. Yoink. Okay. Stop running away from me and get pet. Okay. Um, what do I need next? Brush. I need to brush them. I was like, <laughs> what do I do? There you go, have a nice brush. I still think that brushing should in improve the um, the coat quality, right? Because you're brushing them. <laughs> it's good for their coat. Right, here, Ali. I need to clip you. Thank you. Nice clip. And now let's send you outside to graze. Oh, you're no longer running away from me. Is that a good thing? And then it, like, stops pushing. Oh, there we go. Sniper! First try, technically second. It's like, if you're never directly behind them, if you're like off to the side, then you end up pushing them like beyond, or you, you, you end up moving like past them. It's just really awkward. There we go. There we go. Alright, animals outside. I don't think Ali is running away from us anymore. Yeah, oh no, she's running away from us. <laughs> or he. I don't know. He, she, not sure. Uh, where's my watering can? There we go. Let's fill that up on the way out and head to town and see what we can't find. What else was I going to do today? Oh yeah, mining. I was going to mine my own business <laughs> and hopefully get some more chunks of iron. And if we do, we can upgrade. No, we can't upgrade. Yes, we can upgrade because it's a Saturday. I thought it was Sunday today, but it's not. It's a Saturday. Yeah, hopefully if we get enough iron, we can upgrade our hammer because I'd like to be able to use those extra mining nodes um, and get some, some more ore. More ore is good ore. So let's go over to this one first, see what we can't get. It's just a, it's just a, um, not a vulture, an eagle. Is that a vulture? Eagle? I don't know. Okay. Feeling kind of tired. I most certainly am. I'm not getting any iron. Wow. Got an old coin. Got some topaz. Brick. Ruby. I mean, great. We're getting all these gemstones and whatnot, but, <laughs> but what about some, some stinking iron? Wait. You, oh, you are closed. Oh, no, it's nearly it's nearly 10 o'clock. It's nearly 10 o'clock. I don't want to be outside when 10 o'clock hits. Stupid cutscene. 
Uh, let's grab our hammer again. Come on, give me some iron. Give me some iron. That's not iron. That ain't iron either. I got a bit of copper. Wow. No iron today. Oh. Okay, maybe maybe someone will give me iron. If I'm nice to... Oh, I want to get inside that shop before 10 o'clock. There we go. All right, Miranda. Nodding. Welcome to Straw Market. I want to see what new stuff you've got. Oh, you didn't have anything new here. Um, maybe it was because it was Taylor Cloves. Ah, new items. There we go. So what's new? A butler's uniform. I don't want to be a butler. Okay, well, great. Thanks for sending me that mail to say that I can be a butler now. <laughs> I don't want to be a butler. No, I didn't come there to talk to you. I came to see what cool stuff you could sell me, but you don't have any cool stuff. You got a butler outfit. I don't want a butler outfit. Sadly, no iron today. Makes me sad. Right, let's do our part-time jobs. Okay, and what we got? Item courier from Miranda. I can do that. You want five flowers and two vegetables. I guess I could do that. Um, Megan and Wayne. Okay. So I guess what I could do first is go grab the things from Miranda um, so that I can deliver them, even though I've forgotten who they want me to deliver to, but so it's fine, we can check in the job notes. Through we go. Alright, I've been waiting for you, thank you very much. <laughs> Here's the package, and where does this need to go? Yo, our West Town rank is really high now, it's getting there. Uh, this needs to go to Iluka. Okay, that's great, because I can, ooh, I can jump in the sky, enjoy. Uh, I can do a part-time job over at, um, Tototara. No, that's the name of the person. Dang it. How can I forget the name of the town? Lulu Coco. There we go. Tototara is the name of the, the, like, chief. Town chief. Okay, so let's do some woodcutting. My favorite for Iluka. There we go. That way it will send us near to Iluka's house, then we can give her the parcel, then we can go to Ludus, and, um grab the parcels that we need for Megan and for Wayne. 12 pieces of wood! Ugh. Oh. You know, eventually these guys are gonna run out of trees to, for me to chop. <laughs> How do they need so much wood, like, wood being, why do they need so much firewood? Well, I guess, I guess they do have a bonfire burning in the middle of their town all the time, but what about West Town when they all need, when they need wood cutting? They like, they don't have fires anywhere, do they? I've not seen any. Plus it's nice and warm most of the time in West Town. It's, it's a western town. There we go, there's your 12 firewood. Even though there's a stack of 10 behind me, not 12. Oh, finished already? Here's your pay then. Thank you. 320, I'll take it. Mahalo, glad I came to you, yeah. So, now let's go over to Ludus. And be like, yo Ludus, what's up bro? Yep, deliveries, thank you. I'll, I'll deliver one to Megan. And one to Wayne. Wayne's got like a watermelon colored one. Uh, I do want to see, though, tool modification. What does it take to upgrade the hammer again? Am, am I close yet? Make it lighter? I don't want to make it lighter. Because that will use less... Um, yeah, less stamina. I think I want to improve the effectiveness. Five copper? I've only got... Or five iron, even. I've only got two. It's going to take forever. Okay, what about the watering can? I'm going to select the set the area to one by two. That would be pretty cool. The effectiveness is... Proves of watering cans effectiveness, you'll be able to water your crops faster. I don't really care about that. I want to be able to, like, water more stuff. I need some jade for that. Okay, good to know. I guess we could always change the color to red. Or to green. Actually, that's kind of cool that you can change the color. It's for cheap as well. Maybe I, maybe I will change it. Moon drop to, to yellow. Yellow watering can, red watering can. Let's change our watering can to red. And it was instant! Wait, I, I need to see this. I thought it would like take a day or something. Oh my goodness, we got a pretty red watering can. Fantastic. <laughs> Worth it! Alright, job guy. Let's do some more wood cutting for Kaolila. Which I think will actually send us to the other part of town, won't it? Yes, it does. All right, 10, 10, 10 pieces of wood. You got loads of wood behind. Actually, that's wood that she needs chopping up, never mind. I wanna know how those logs, like those beams that we're making are bigger than the actual chunks of wood that we're chopping. Also, how come we're slicing a cylindrical log down in the middle once 
and it's turning it into a perfect square. Tomfoolery, trickery, shenanigans. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. It's more 320. That's fine. Yep. Let me go do the last one so I can get paid my dollar dollar bills. Through we go. Uh, hello. Let's do the last one. Please only be like six or three or something. <laughs> it's Tototara. I mean, how much would, would she need, right? Not a lot, right? Five. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. I should have started with this one. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. There we go. Problem solved. Logs chopped. You're welcome, Tototara. Okay, so I've still got to... I've still got to sell, like... Two crops or two vegetables and five flowers, I believe, uh, and also make those deliveries back in uh, back in West Town. So let's go do that real quick. Make our deliveries. Uh, Megan and Wayne. Luckily, I know where each of them are. They're quite easy to find. Wayne is pretty much always in the post office, which makes me wonder how he actually delivers his post. <laughs> and Megan is normally hanging around that first area of West Town, so she's pretty easy to find. Plus, you know, the map helps. The map helps a lot. Uh, she's actually in her house with Hector. All right, hello Megan. How's it going? You're probably upstairs because you're. Oh no, never mind. Here's a delivery. One delivery for you. A package for you. Yep, there you go. Lovely package. Enjoy your chicken nuggets and pancakes. It looks like you're eating chicken nuggets and pancakes. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> My specialty, says Megan, not me. I don't know how to make pancakes. I do know how to make pancakes, but more like crepes than pancakes as uh, most of you guys would call them crepes, I, I guess. All right, oh, Wayne isn't actually up there. Wait, is, May, is, is Maine? Is Wayne eating lunch? He is. See, look at me, I know all of the, um, I know all of the, uh, the routines of these guys now. It's usually me delivering stuff. Yeah, I've never seen you deliver anything, pal. Never seen you deliver anything. Okay, so that's all of our deliveries made. Let's take a look at our part-time job notes. Uh, we have to ship five flowers to veg. I can do that. I can do that easy peasy. Because we got so much veg. Okay. Oh, let's let's wave to people. Mahalo, as they say in Lulu Coco. There we go. Wave to everyone loads of times. Alright. Not much left to do but to ship those stuff. And we get paid more for shipping them, which is pretty good. Uh, I guess I'm increasing my town link rank with West Town because I'm shipping to West Town. I, I think that's how it works. Oop, over we go. To the crossroads. And who was that? And they didn't have a name tag on the map, so they're not important. <laughs> Is how I rank people. All right, I wish to ship. Um, are these are my low quality potatoes. Yes, they are. You know, let's just sell ten of them. Why not? And flowers, you know, we're growing lots of marguerites, so I'm just gonna ship all of these, as well as that one. Oh, there we go. Right, we should be done. And I think, actually, you know what I'll do is I'll quickly check how much um, food these guys have. How much food do you guys have? Two fodder left, okay. So I think I'm gonna go spend some money on some spicy fodder for these animals because their food's about to run out on Sunday, no? Well, actually, it depends how often they graze. Also, does grazing, like, help the attributes the same way as, like, different fodder does? I know it relieves their stress a little bit, uh, and if you send them out too much, then it increases their stress, which is really backwards to me, but whatever. Uh, but I think I'm gonna get some spicy fodder for them, because we got spicy chicken feed. We may as well treat the cow and the, the llama, sorry, not the llama, the alpaca the same. Otherwise, that's just mean on the, the cow and the alpaca. Okay, it will be buy items, please. And I wish to purchase... Um, spicy fodder. It's expensive. <laughs> let's get like 30. Oh, yeah, let's get... No, let's, let's get 28. Ouchie. Uh, because 28 is a even multiple of 7. So we can put 7 down at any one time. And um, and because we have an even amount of animals, we've now got an even amount of seven. So we got basically two weeks for each animal, which is great. Because if that's gonna cost me six grand every two weeks, then whew, whew, you guys better be worth it. 
Then again, I think the alpaca wool that we've got is really high quality and like worth a lot. I think we can clip like two times a week. I'm not quite sure what the uh, limit is on that. But let's throw this spicy feed into the silo. Oh, sorry, the spicy fodder into the silo. There we go. I still don't care about the soft treats because it's easier just for me to pick up the soft treats from my pockets rather than there. So, yeah, I think I'm going to call things quits there, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Story of Seasons, a trio of towns. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one where we will be preparing for the Harvest Festival. How about that? Thanks for watching, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.